So before we get into this video, let me just say that after all that at the beginning where I was trying to adjust my camera, my camera still was unfocused. So for a large part of this video, uh, my camera is going to be unfocused, but the content is still there. Um, the tips are still there. So just bear with me, please. Sorry about that. Continue. What is up, guys? It is your girl, Sabrina here, and I am back with another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to be talking about um, a topic that was brought up in my comments on another video. I was confused about why my locks were like super, super lumpy. And I'm looking at my mirror over there. But I was confused about why my locks were super, super lumpy. Um, and I had heard of budding before, but one of my comment, I mean, one of my subscribers commented, um, I think that's what budding is. And, you know, that kind of sparked me to um, do some more research about budding because I hear it all the time on like log pages and Instagrams and YouTubes and it's like nobody, well videos that I have seen, nobody has really explained it for me to understand it when I hear the word. So I just wanted to do that for you guys because I was kind of confused so I know like there's other people confused so that's what we're going to be talking about. Please subscribe to my channel, it means a lot to me. Like, comment, comment some things um, about budding if I didn't address them. Let's get straight into the video. So, many times I see budding um, talk about like lumps and bumps in your locks. And that's exactly what they are. Um, I'm gonna try to look at some of my other like update lock videos and see if I can show you where my hair was budding when it was looser. Because now, let me see. Now, as you guys can see, my hair is pretty locked. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily call this, well, I think this is some budding, but it's very matured budding. I'll zoom in for you guys. You see how it's like really, really tight, really, really tight, and then it gets puffy right here. So that's basically what budding is. Um, and like I said, I'll find some other pictures and videos. Um, I'll probably put them at the end of the video for you guys to show you exactly what they are. But budding is just where your hair starts to, and I have my notes right here. Budding is just where your hair starts to swell, it starts to mat, it starts to mature um, between those spaces. So I know in my hair, um, and I'll show you, I don't have examples, too many examples in my head um, because my locks are pretty much locked so um of course they still have some locking to do but they're not really budding that much so as you can see or actually this is this is a pretty good example actually yeah so that's oil because that will my scalp but it's really really coily a bud right there and then it goes coily again and then it actually there's a bud right here it tightens right here and then it's budding here. Budding is just where your lock is swelling, maturing, and it's matting. So you want your hair to be um, matted, you want your hair to be coily inside of the other coils and that's how your locks start. Um, but budding usually happens between three to six months. Um, that's when it's at its height. It's like you you see every single one of your locks is like it's skinny and then it's fat and then it's skinny and then it's fat and it's like it's weird. And that's honestly what most people call the ugly stage, but I don't call it that because I feel like your hair is beautiful no matter what. And I actually liked my budding stage and I'm still going through it. So it's like, I don't really, I don't really know what people be talking about the ugly stage or whatnot, but it happens between three to six months. Um, but honestly, budding happens throughout the life of your dreads because I was actually doing my mom's hair. Um, I sometimes like style her hair or like moisturize her scalp and blah, 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 blah. I like, I really enjoy it because I love my mom's hair. Her hair's down her back with her locks. Um, and I was looking at one of her low. So my camera decided to randomly go off. So the lighting might be different, the angle might be different, all that good stuff. It's okay. So like I was saying, um, I was looking at one of my mom's locks and I realized that um, all her hair is completely locked on this part. I'm just showing an example of my lock. Let me get a big one. All of her, or see, do you see this budding right here? That is budding. You see that fat part? That's budding. And it continues to grow like that. But anyway, so her hair is completely locked from like this part all the way down. 
um, and her locks are very long. But when I started uh, looking at this part of her hair, there were buds. So it's like where her hair was growing at. Here, where her hair was growing at, like right here, it was a bud and then it was her scalp. So the bud started growing right here and all the rest of this was locked. So budding will happen for a long time with your locks um, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram, on Facebook, because I follow like a lot of lock pages and they do so much to their hair while it's budding and it will mess up your locks forever. I'm so glad that I never really got into the whole my hair is ugly thing and I don't want my hair to be fat and all that stuff because I feel like I would have like rolled them too much or like put tension on, tension on them. Um, I was watching one lady and she was like just as appalled as I was. I'm just like you just leave them alone. They will eventually get straight and blah 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 blah. Um, but she said that she's seen a lady on Instagram and she actually cut the budding and then wrapped all the hair around or she took her comb and she backed like across the track of the budding and like to get it flat and everything and like in the end after she did her um, style and everything the locks were straight but it was so much damage to the lock and so her locks will never or that person's locks will never you know look as good as somebody who just left their hair alone so budding is not a bad thing um, budding if you have a super 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 problem with it all you have to do is um, if you have like a huge huge budded spot which it happens all you have to do is just go across the budding um, and palm roll it a little bit if it doesn't go down leave it alone it will eventually go down um, it's something that you shouldn't be mad at it's something that's actually really really good um, budding is your lock becoming a lock um, it's like I said before it's the maturing it's the um, swelling and it's the matting of the hair and that's what you want for a good mature lock my hair actually started budding very very quickly and here's why so people who know about locks they want budding they encourage budding because that is literally your lock becoming a lock but sorry I got uh, triggered yes I got very triggered but I uh, like I was saying I actually started budding really quick because I used salt water on my hair. Shout out to one of my subscribers for telling me that very early. But um, water increases, hold on, let me not say it wrong. Water increases swelling. And once your hair swells, it has to shrink. So once your hair swells and then it shrinks and then it swells and then it shrinks over the course of like you doing three times a week your salt water um that's encouraging the coiling that's encouraging the matting um and i started getting buds really really quick and i think that's why my hair is pretty much locked at i'm six months now am i six months yeah i'm six months so um, that's why my hair is pretty much locked at six months um the ends have yet to um seal but a lot of them are sealed and i'm just like you know shout out to salt water or whatnot so that's what i have to say about budding um and honestly budding once your hair starts budding that's probably what that's probably how big your locks are going to be so that gives you a good idea and i wouldn't do this but if you really really had a problem with how big your buds were going to be over like all of your hair and you were like oh they're too small or they're too big because that's how big your hair is going to be then you have the opportunity to you know comb out your locks or you know get a restyling or something to correct like how big you want your locks because your budding is going to be the size of your locks so i hope you guys know that and i hope that brought more information to you like i said before um at the beginning of the video i love and i very 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 much encourage commenting in the comment section sharing some information below um saying hi saying bye saying what's up you know dropping some emojis i love it all so make sure you do that for me guys and to close out this video i just want to say i love you guys and i thank you guys for subscribing and I'll be back for another video. <gasps> Bye!